Cinematic. 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 Cinematic.
into how just to give you an idea of what the process will look like it's probably i don't know if it will be the same for other citizens because again like i said we're nigerian and we live in poland so Femi, I'm going to ask you, what qualifies you to bring your spouse to Poland? Uh, well, uh, so generally, based on uh, the process of me through, uh, the very first thing that is very important is yeah. you must be residing in Poland. Yes, very and, important. Uh, you must be residing in Poland legally. Yes, so, legally. Sure, sure, that's <laughs> Don't be legal, you guys. <laughs> that's, like, that's the first thing and yeah. the very, very important thing mm -hmm. uh, as well. So the second thing is you must you must have a source of income. Yes, uh, very so important. You must show that uh, there is a way you are making money. So to cater for yourself legally, sure. for sure. sure. <laughs> to cater for yourself and to also show that you can cater for for your, your spouse, uh, your family that you're bringing, mm -hmm. and um, I think the very the other very important thing is uh, you must already have like. Um, a legal residency stay in Poland. Yes. So either you have like uh, the temporary residency card, which yes. is the TRC, yeah. yes. or you have like a, a blue the card. Blue card. The blue card. As so for the EU, the blue card applies to just like EU general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. EU, EU general. Yeah. yeah. So you must have like uh, you must have like this thing that you must have like your decision, not just the card. You must have like the decision. The decision. Usually, usually. You. Sorry to cut you short. Yeah. Usually, guys, they when they give you your TRC, mm -hmm. which is your residence permit. They give you first a decision, decision and then, then your card you comes. So it's not possible for you to have a card without exactly. a decision. decision exactly. yes. So I think I think these three things are like uh, they're like super they're like super important. important. Those are the things that qualifies you, you to bring your spouse. You must be living here legally. It doesn't matter like how long or mm -hmm. how short. Mm -hmm. You must be here legally. Uh you must have a source of income and you must have like a residence. Mm -hmm. card. And also it has to be a minimum of one thousand two hundred yes. months. You have to earn. You have to earn for for example, someone would earn six hundred thirty and his spouse would also earn six hundred six hundred So one thousand two would cover for two people yeah. in a family. Yes. So if you're having more than one person joining you, that means We'd have 600 times the number of people. Times that the number of people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's the idea. 600 times the number of people. But this is supposed to be on a monthly basis, I suppose. Yes, on a, on a monthly basis. Okay. So, so, just to make quick math, so 600 worthy times 12 months, that's yeah. how much you should have in your account. Mm -hmm. I'm not good at mathematics. Do the mathematics yourself. Uh, at 12 and 6 is um, 72. Uh, you see, data mm -hmm. analysis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, I'm 72 now. And so, so, mm -hmm. so if you put the other two zeros, Zero, seven seven thousand two hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, but the amount is for the both of you. So actually, it's one thousand two times twelve, I believe, right? Yes. So if, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's for the both of you, so it's one thousand two hundred. That's fourteen thousand four hundred. Sorry. 14,400 yeah, The mathematician <laughs> 14,400 uh, And as Nigerians Per annum Per annum, yeah, yes, yeah. Annum. As Nigerians, you know, we always have to like We like to have more So it's better for you to have more than that mm -hmm. Don't have exactly that I mean, we, we don't know I just think that it's based on the fear that we have in the country That we sure. always overpack We want to Just in case uh, just in case. Just in case. So, so that that part. Yes. Okay. So the next part is uh, we're just going to talk about uh the actual process because now you know that you are qualified or you're not qualified or you need to work towards getting qualified because you could be a student and you're not working. So all you need to do to be able to bring your spouse is to start working. If you're a student, a full time student, that will just get a job that can give you minimum of one thousand two hundred dollars after tax in your accounts not before tax after tax so now we're going to talk about uh, the process do you want to go first or you want him to go first and then you no, just no, you, you can, you can. so are we going with yeah with your we, we, so uh, apparently guys there are two um ways that it went about that apparently guys there are two ways to go about it because his own um his own way or his own process was actually more straightforward than his, his, yeah, his exactly. process so um, he, he can share if he wants a little story of how he went about it, but that's just going to be like a summary. Mm -hmm. We are not going to break that down. His process is much more easier, much more simpler, and much more faster. And you know, as I always say on this channel, this year we are all Japanese from that country, Nigeria. So we need a simple <laughs> step by step process for you to bring your wife. 
mm-hmm. for your husband to come and join you in Poland. So, uh, yeah, Babs, come on, let's go. Um, so, uh, the basic thing we've mentioned earlier, the, the basic requirement that qualifies you. Yeah. So, um, going forward to the process now, it's important for you to be married. Before you <laughs> talk about bringing your spouse. Bring so, your marriage certificates in Nigeria yes. will be authenticated at the Ministry of Foreign yes. Affairs. No. Then in Abuja, then you have to legalize. I think that's like the basic of, the, yeah. of, of the whole process. Yeah, true. Thereafter, after legalizing the marriage certificates, your spouse will then apply for visa but basically 90 percent i would say of all the uh, required documents would be from you here in poland Mm -hmm. so you would have to provide your work contract you would have to provide your accommodation contract you would have to provide your decision that's your permit Mm -hmm. you have to Mm -hmm. to Mm -hmm. provide your card and guys one very important thing why packaging all these documents make sure you send the original through probably dhl or yeah. ups yeah. or whichever system you want to use yeah. don't scan to nigeria you have to send the original so your spouse would then go to the embassy with the original Thank document be become the embassy would definitely reject whichever document they don't need so you see you own your original document. So um, one other thing that is important, your accommodation contract is important. You have to include your wife's name or your husband's name on your accommodation contract from uh, Poland. Yes. You have to talk to your landlord. Yes, to that, adjust it. That to your adjust, wife will be just join, joining you and can to adjust the contract his name or her name on. It the, all depends on your landlord. Yes. Mine was fair. Your although he increased the charges <laughs> and all, but it was just for the processing. Yes. Do you understand? So we got the accommodation contract. We got our marriage certificate legalized in Nigeria. And other things that could be important is. If there are communication channels you guys have been using, there are pictures, pictorial evidences, communication evidences that you guys are truly married and mm. you are connecting. Yes, very important. Why you are far away. I think that is also a plus. Yeah. And I think that is all. Also, a uh, means of finances. Very you, important. Very, very if important. If I the most important, they don't go this matter. <laughs> Put for funds. In our own case, we we included our bank statements mm-hmm. and also my pay slip. So I got my which bank statement? Uh, yeah, your bank, bank, my bank, bank statement. statement. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my bank statement was printed. Make sure it's the original. You go to the bank, you pay. I think twenty zloty thereabouts. But you can yeah. also do it yourself actually. It my... won't. No, it won't because count. Because they need to stamp. They need, it has to be stamped and signed. Oh. So that's yeah. why you, the one you do yourself is free. And yes, it's, it's free. It's electronics, just it's electronic, electronic version. Electronic version. Oh, but okay, okay, the okay. one you get at the bank, yeah, it will be signed, of course, uh, and stamped. Yeah. Then you send the original, not photocopy, not scanned, to of Nigeria, the bank statement, of the bank statement yeah. to Nigeria, and also your paisley original. Not the one you printed from what the yeah, the one you, you need to have at like, the HR. The, the HR, HR or the, yes. case, the original piece slip signed by the HR. HR, yes, I remember that. I think even when we are applying for maybe some visa or something, visa. you do need you, you do need, need it to just go to your HR since so, you're already working here. Yeah, yeah, so so also insurance. Yeah, so insurance. Also. Insurance is also important. You also have to request from your workplace. They would give you the insurance original. The Zeus, Make, the Zeus, 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 Zeus insurance. Yeah, because you are paying for it from your salary. It's automatically yeah. removed from your salary. Yeah. So they need to give it to you as part of the document you need. Mm-hmm. So basically, all you are getting and all you are sending to Nigeria must be original. Your work contract, the original work contract. Is it, is it going to be the original or like a copy of the original? A copy of the original. I sent the original and the copy of the original just for. 
uh-huh. viewing at the yeah. embassy. So oh, okay. they, will the, they will definitely return, they will return the, the original. original. Oh, but they just want, they want to, to see. Just to see. Just for uh-huh. view. That was, not, that was not the case in my own. Just for that view. was not the case in your own. Why like, you don't send it to Marina? You have to send to the personal passport. My own time. Oh, right. Thank you. So, um, also, you have, to, you, have to notarize, you have to notarize your international passport because you won't be there with your spouse in Nigeria at the yeah. embassy. So, a notarized copy of your international passport is important. You go to any notary public here in Poland, they get it done for you, maybe 7 zloty. They're about yeah, there and then the notary is actually one of the most efficient uh, and the fastest place in this place. Yeah, exactly. You get Every other thing it takes time. They get their money. They get their money. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so even the guys... customer service, I will mean, not pay them on this spot. <laughs> you will still wait and wait. <laughs> you get it yeah. done. I will lie our. She did defend her. She did defend her. Yeah, the law. You see, she, she's so, defending her people. So I think um, just just to buttress like invitation letter. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Just to buttress mm-hmm. some points. Yeah. Uh, for for what Tune said. So the type of visa you'll be applying for mm-hmm. is a visiting visa. I yes. Think that's also very important. Very important. The type of visa you're applying. So you're going to be applying for a type C Schengen visiting visa, visa mm-hmm. for your spouse. Mm-hmm. Right, so and one of the like the first things you need to submit, like if you say like top three, based on my own rating, I would say yes. You need to write a letter of invitation, of course, as part of the document. You need yes, to sign. Signed. So the letter of invitation you need to be it needs to be signed physically by you. Yeah. It must not be a electronic It must not be an electronic mm-hmm. signature. It has to be your yeah, own. Yeah, like, a wet ink, a wet signature. signature. You understand? You you put that. Then uh the co- the like uh, the copy of your like the marriage certificates that has been legalized by like, the same embassy. embassy. So you just take a copy with the invitation letter and the rest of the documents uh that he has mentioned. So um so I think he has basically just mentioned like most of them. Yes. Uh, if I remember I think I saw something about maybe fourteen or fifteen different documents. Document up to fifteen. Yeah, up to fifteen different documents. So have we named them just to be um, sure that we name them so 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 just for me, I would say like the first thing is the marriage certificate. It has to be it has been it legalized. must have been authenticated, made sure of foreign affairs and legalized yes. in the embassy. Yeah. Before so you go that was what she, you were doing like in Nigeria, yeah? yeah. So guys, this list of documents that we're talking about, so that you're not confused, I'm going to put it on the screen. You know I always do that for you guys, as usual. It will be on the screen, mm-hmm. the about 14 to 15, because we have the list here uh, on the phone, but I'll put it on the screen for you so that you can just take a screenshot or take a picture and you can use that to like tick off your own list. So yeah, you can go ahead, Philip. Uh, so I'll just give a summary of those that I remember. Today yes, you will have to help me out. <laughs> so uh, the marriage certificate, as I mentioned, the invitation letter, uh, your work contract is very, very your permanent work contract. It has to show like in the in the indefinite, indefinite period. Period. period of contract. Yeah, that will be the third thing. You need to submit accommodation contract. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the both your, of your wife, name. yeah, the your names. wife's name as as, mm. as mm. a permanent yeah. occupant. It's advisable that the minimum period for the uh, contract should be like at a least a year. Just, just, just to be on the very same. To fulfill your righteousness. Just to fulfill your righteousness. Yeah, just to fulfill your righteousness. Yeah. So after you do the accommodation, you need to do uh, travel medical insurance. Travel medical insurance. Um, there are a lot of them out there, so you can. You have a lot of options. options. Just choose the one that you want. The they will not reject it. Just pick any one you want. Uh, I think the only requirement is they must be able to provide thirty thousand euros worth of insurance for you. Yes, for the people. So, but you're not paying thirty thousand euros for the insurance. No, it's just the value of the insurance. Yeah. Do you remember how much you guys spent on insurance? Insurance was less than twenty thousand. Twenty thousand five hundred. Yeah, fifteen thousand five hundred. So it's and quite it was, affordable. It, it depends on the period. Naira, in Naira, in Naira, in Naira. It must be within the period of the validity of the uh, visa of the visa. So, you so the insurance should be a year to be on the safe side too, right? No, uh, no. it's so much. They might just give it, a negative it, it, like uh, to that you want to stay more than the period you're applying for. Because why you going to pay you more? So, so I wouldn't if because okay because the visiting. Visa it's is for 18 days. It's for 18 days. Maximum. So the insurance should be about 18 days. So two to three months. So three months. So if you're applying for two months, just put 
two months, two months insurance. Yeah, insurance. travel 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 so oh. I think that's the that's that's number five. Right? Five, I think, yeah. So after you travel medical insurance, of course that was going to be your wife's name only. After yes. you travel, you need to. Do I mean, she's the one traveling to meet of you. Course, you already yeah. So from my hand in the, the then you need to do the uh, sleep reservation. No, like flight reservation. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, you, get you, the you need to do flight reservation. So you are not paying for the dates of your travel. It's just, just for reservation. The you reserve the like the going and also the coming. A return ticket. A return ticket for, yes. for the reservation yeah. uh, as well. So then you get to basically the proof of funds. So for the proof of funds, you need to submit uh, your bank statement. Yeah. Yes. In Poland, is advised in Poland. Yeah. Is advisable three months. Yes, three months. Minimum, minimum of three minimum months. Three minimum months. Of three uh, bank statement. This is the reason why you need three months. Minimum of three months bank statement is to show that your income is consistent. Shows it's your, coming into shows your income history. It's yeah. consistent. Here they pay income consistently. It's very easy. Nigeria, they know they pay salary every month. But you will go see my proof of funds. <laughs> so you need yeah. to do bank statement for three months. Yeah. You need to show your disease are. Uh, RCA, like yeah. 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 Then, yeah, so that's like our own insurance in Poland. In Poland, Zeus Poland yeah. Zeus, uh, is our own insurance here in Poland. Yeah. yeah, you need to also submit your pay slip for three months. Yes, and that's simply for three months. Yes, that's like the normal nine one. Then you need to um, submit a notarized copy. Of your own passport, international passport, uh, from from Nigeria. Yeah, because so, you cannot send your physical copy. You cannot send, you can send your physical copy. Yeah. so they just can do all pages of your passports, notarize it, it here, and then you can send it, and it can stand in. For so you. this this is like the the ten the top ten like yeah, those are like the top ten the top ten decision, then, yeah, documents to start with to start with the actually process and documentation. That was to be talked about. Yeah, right. process and documentation. Mm-hmm. So get your marriage certificate as the first step. Basically, second step go to Ministry of Foreign Affairs and authenticate, authenticate. the marriage certificate. The, That's the, process, yeah. the third step go to embassy, embassy and to legalize, legalize the certificate. Then the fourth step is apply for the visa 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 Then just start praying. <laughs> <laughs> and we say, has like, yeah, I was the experience for you. <laughs> the um. Authentication and legalization uh, process uh, in Nigeria because she was the one in Nigeria doing the running around. Yeah. The authentication it wasn't so wasn't so bad. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> because definitely when you are doing things like that, there's a lot of people wanting to authenticate. Yes. So it's better to have someone on the inside. Yes. To ease the process. Yes. So it was kind of easier because yes. I have someone helping me out yes. without. With that, but for legalization, we have to go there. Do you need an appointment for the definitely? You need an appointment, they, they cannot just appear. But yeah. uh, I think the existing they do that you can ask somebody to help you legalize. Is that still accepted without yeah. an appointment? No, so you somebody has an appointment. You can, ah, okay, you, you can take more than one. Yes, you can do a third party. Yes. Uh, uh, right. I, I don't know. Do they still do that? I'm they sure. still do. So, so, so there's a third party legalization process. Do you have to you give them a form of author, authorization? authorization? Yes, you need to give them a letter of authorization. authorization. You just get it from the court or uh, from a lawyer and. Yeah, but if you are doing, you you are doing it, it yourself, you need um, legalization you need dates. Yeah. Legalization dates. And you get that on, on the on portal. The portal. Yeah. That is easier to get than no. the application. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry 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 it takes a lot of mental tenacity. Especially yeah. getting a date. Yes, especially getting there's a lot of emotional roller coaster. <laughs> mm. It's not it's, it's not here is usually not the money is not usually a problem. It's usually that mental tenacity because mm. the date sometimes you can say they, they lost these documents and you know, <laughs> you have to take it back two, three times. Hopefully not. 
but yeah this is these are the things that's why i wanted them to just like share their experience with you okay. so and that you're not alone I forgot, uh, oh, yes. for legalization you need 30 euros yeah, cash. Yeah. cash 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 oh. so on that day very important this is inside that just mm -hmm. carry your 30 euro yeah, cash so <laughs> i think is that all with your experience with legalization so when you got there on that day what well, like how did it look like uh okay so there is once you get there yeah there's um a list mm -hmm. so you go and check your name if your name is actually on the list because some people were dead maybe they paid somebody to help them get it and you now find that your name is not on the list god i beg so you have to actually check if your name is on the list then if your name is on the list you have a time yeah 8 a.m you can't miss your appointment though because as you are finishing somebody else this is going, going you in. can't take over somebody you came 9 30 there's somebody for 9 you have to keep to time you have to keep to time. your appointment for 9 30 be there for 9 30 if not that's what it's called and then you must not forget any documents yes like okay i think there was somebody they sent back because they felt the signature the was authentication mm. they said it, they are not sure it's from the foreign affairs so no. the person had to go back and that means you are paying for another appointment mm -hmm. date it's, yes it's pretty much as long as that's they send scary. you back that's clear you are paying for and you so don't even with the payment you want the kids and yeah. they said they are not sure yeah. Yeah. yes yeah. 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 it yeah. happened maybe the ink is not bold you know you know there was a time in that's foreign scary, affairs actually. that i think they were rejecting yeah they were the rejecting particular bold. signature yeah it was not strong enough so guys mm -hmm. Yes. When, even when they give give you the document, like when they authenticate, make sure that they use the boldest ink. They you've already paid for this appointment, so they are they might as well give you like the best um, experience possible because you have paid for this. But again, like you see, this is what I'm saying. It's not only about money; it's about that time because now you've already gotten this date that was so difficult to find, and you have to go back. So it takes a lot of prayer. I think when I went, I even help somebody to take her documents inside mm. she had been there once oh. then she forgot okay they said the signature was not was appropriate or something mm -hmm. so she had to go back and come back again mm. then she was pleading with me and she please help her like three people were my name please help me please help me just for legalization me, help me. yes just for legalization but you can only help one, one person, person. Mm. Yeah. so i shall help that thank you okay. I mean, look at you here, you're in Poland, you don't even know where the person is, whether the person made it or not. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, the person gives of Almighty God, so we thank God for that. Yeah. So, that was the experience, and then you just went in, gave your documents. And I left. Yay! And yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, check back in, I think, two weeks or three weeks from now. Usually it's two weeks. But it changes. It changes. The regulation longer like or shorter. Two, be longer. No, I think the regulation is now like two days. Yeah, it should be less than a week. Less than a week. It's not less than a week. But to pick it up, you need uh, to authorize some if you can't go physically. Because yeah, I was going from Lagos to Abuja, so there was no point coming all the way from Lagos again. Just to, to collect, the collect. collect. So I just gave a letter of authorization to somebody who yeah. will pick up for me. For you. Okay. So, um, guys, I, I forgot to mention that this process was done in 2022. So they did their process last year. So, just as a disclaimer, that always check the website because again yeah. they change the rule yeah, every bits. time yeah, yeah. last week's rule might not be this week's exactly. rule <laughs> trust me anything immigration you have to keep up to date because they can change the rule anytime so please always keep up to date this is a 2022 uh, process that they did and mm. this was how they went about it so this is just to summarize like the process i think we've already done femi already did the summary for us now we're going to go to the cost right the cost yeah the, the, the cost the cost the the time time. yeah this application the first thing after you've um packaged your document um the first thing will be to apply for dates on the portal mm -hmm. so you check for dates i think it's always on first mondays first and third mondays of the month is that thing still, is it still i think monday? i think according to officially officially, officially okay. first and third mondays of the month and between the hours of i think 8 a.m to 2 p.m yeah. yes. you check you pray <laughs> and, <laughs> fast. Pray fast. Oh, and you you'll be hopeful <laughs> one day you get a date mm -hmm. okay. so after getting your date um 
you feel the form, you have to feel the form immediately. Like very, mm-hmm. very, do you feel it on the on, platform on there? The platform. Oh, yeah. They have to be very, very fast. Okay. I think there's a timeline. Given. There's a time out that I think I'm so, not so 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 it depends, right? So, hey, God, I, so I think you can actually like pre pre fill the form. Yeah, pre fill the form before and before you fill before you apply before you date. get a date. So when they now give you the date, you just submit that. Pre- yeah, form. yeah. So so okay, they now send you like um just like what you said now of that form. Even if you made a mistake while filling the initial form, it's still not a problem. It's not a problem. You can go ahead and fill another form mm-hmm. with mm-hmm. your original. Yeah. Um, credentials and all, and correct information, and correct information. Mm-hmm. then you go ahead to the embassy with the correct form. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, I think I want to say something. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, babe. So, for people that okay, you just employ agents that you fill your visa mm-hmm. application form and you don't get to see it until the day of the appointment, it's very dangerous. Very Even if someone is helping you, feel, you need to like send. What Tell the person to send it to you for you to verify Because you will find out that there will be mistakes, mistakes. No matter how Maybe your spelling of your name Your spelling of your name Dates or something. Or even arrangement of your name guys yeah. Yeah. Your gender, Arrangement your gender. of your name <laughs> Even your gender If you are your gender <laughs> might be different <laughs> I met someone. Situations. She that's, was the one in Nigeria, actually. That's why she's telling you. Exclusive to visa rejection, experience. of course. There was course. a lady this I met. There. You know how these things. Once you fill it, it goes into their system the directly, database. Yeah. their database. Yeah. So there was a lady. I think the agent messed up with her assistant. Oh. And you know those security. They are not always right. Some of them are not educated. The guy was telling her, just uh, use TPS. Oh. Just change it. And she was doing that. Oh my God. Oh. It's already in the system. It's already what she so was it means that our form and system is not in the brand new application. Was new, to a new form. print a new form, upload it, correctly fill it online. Correct. But she did not. She, she was, did not she know. Was, uh, my pressure was in my body. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, that's crazy. So yeah. that's a good disclaimer that if you are using an agent or maybe your friend is helping you, whoever is helping you that is not yourself, guys, please. Make sure you check this thing, check your information, check your name and intimate. It must be the same in all your documents, your passport, your application, your carta to aka your TRC. Everything you're doing, your name arrangement. If your name is Taye Kende Alaba, it cannot be uh, Taye Idowu Alaba, so like it has so. to be Taye Kende Alaba so. in every uh form every form yeah. and your date of birth because it could be uh, May 20 and then they switch it to May 15 or something mm-hmm. like please, guys, pay attention to this. Okay, let's let's go to the next. So, so once you fill your visa application, the visa application form, mm-hmm. you have to fill it. Yeah. Thereafter, there will be an email, like sent confirmation be, email. A confirmation email. Okay. Sent to your email, then your email address. So you have to print it out, with all the documents we've been mentioning, package everything together on the visa application day. Then you go to the embassy. There are other requirements like a uh, passport photographs. There are specifications. Yeah. EU specification, Polish specification. Fortified by. No. Okay. <laughs> I think all the details is like on, on the website. On the website. These actually. details are correct. At least right on the website. They are all correct on, on the website. They are correct on the website. On the, so, the embassy, Nigeria. Yeah. 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 I'll put embassy. the. I'll put a link to the Nigerian embassy the website. I'll put it yeah, in the description exactly. box exactly. That's below. Best. So that when you click on it, you just take it there and you can look at all those okay. requirements. So. Um, Travel medical insurance that we mentioned earlier, the flight reservation that yes. we mentioned earlier, with all the documents from Poland that must have gotten to Nigeria before that day. Mm-hmm. And that's all. Because we cannot <laughs> help you to narrate it in your eyes. I was in Nigeria. Yes, he was in Poland, she was in Nigeria processing it for herself. So. Okay, so I think I got to what time was that? 9 30. In the morning. Yes, 9 30. I got to the embassy. First thing, check your name and your time again. Confirm again. After and this is visa. We're talking yes. about visa, visa application. application. So now we assume that you've gotten your dates, you've submitted all these documents, and you are there on that day. So this is what happens on that day. So I got to the embassy, checked my name, date, I'll be name and time again. Yeah. Entered. But that day there was 
Jenny Amen. You must say amen now. There was a bit of an issue because I got to the end, but I was supposed to just like enter, but I was asked to wait outside for some time. Mm-hmm. They were coming. I got inside. I brought out all my documents. So the lady was checking the original. Then some of the documents they don't need. Original. But it's best to. There's nothing like over documentation. It's yes. better to have, have more than enough than to be short of one document. Exactly. So. They were sorting all that and then she asked me to sit for a while. Well, I think one other person came. I was I was listening. I could not see very well, but I knew some other person came. You know you can't see through that glass. Yeah, like that. This was still a small thing. Small distance. Wow. But I was still trying to see. So the lady that was speaking to me before, then one guy came. Then they just asked me to sit. I sat down. You know, I was just hearing my name. Are you the joke with me? Uh, I said, God, what is happening? <laughs> For like one hour, 30 minutes, I was there. I was supposed wow. to spend less than 30 minutes. Then I just yeah. submit the documents yeah. and you check it and then you're done. I was hearing my name. The guy was speaking Polish. I did not understand. God, what is that? Now imagine you being in that situation. I was, you can't go in with your phone. You can't go in with anything apart from that document. So you're just yeah. like in one place. And you're just hearing your name, Piam. Hearing your name, Piam. Yeah. So go, what God I beg. God I beg. What did I do? So after that, um, the lady now called me. Oh, sorry. You know, I told you earlier that they had technical issues because I asked her. Sorry, I was hearing my name. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? She was like, oh, no issue. I said, does it have anything to do with my documentation or something? Feel free to ask questions as long as you're polite about it. So she said, oh, it's not an issue. It was just um, a technical problem and all. So and they're trying to resolve it. So okay. I think after I left, that was when they stopped um, taking in people that day. That day. Oh because they had technical, technical issues. issues. So that was the end of the thing for that day. they give those people new appointment automatically? Mm-hmm. They will give them. Mm-hmm. I hope so too. Yeah, I hope that's so. Ah, that's the place of prayer. So you have to be prayerful. <laughs> that's the place of prayer. People have, have discovered their plans, but they will give them. They will give them. Yeah, because I've been But imagine you coming all the way from Lagos to Africa. It's not like. That's something that But those are things that I feel like you should make provision for, to be very honest. That you put plus or minus in everything you do when it comes to this Nigerian visa application. Um, I mean, in Nigerian applying to the Polish visa because you just cannot tell what will happen. The reason why I brought this people to tell you their experience is just so that you are prepared for this thing, not to put fear in your heart. It's not because I want to put fear or anxiety, just for you to know the reality and knowledge is power. Sure. Once you have the knowledge of this, you know that when you are going to Abuja, Leave, give or take one or two days, you know, in just in case. In just in case. So, if your date is on a Monday, take um, three days of work yes. because I know that you will not be able to. Because because of work, if you have not taken this time, it's my big problem. If you are going to take time off, take three days of work so that you're there from Monday to Wednesday, so that you know that plus or minus whatever is happening, you can be there and then you can go back. You can go back. It's better to go back earlier, right? Than for yeah. you to now not Absolutely. be able to. to exactly. So. That's just the point of our story, I believe, to sh- yeah. tell you that. Yeah. Then another that thing, I came out. One man came to meet me. Hmm. Nigerians. <laughs> Sister, you just came back from Yes, I just did. Like, what did you ask you? I asked him, what are you applying for? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because if I applied for student visa, I applied for type C family visit. They are two different visas. Says, he's applying for work visa. I said, I'm applying for work. <laughs> This is the same visa. It's not the same. Not the okay. I say okay. Yes. But there are different type of visas. There, there is uh, mm-hmm. student visa, family visa, visa, work visa. So visa. yes. And it's not just. I think go with God. After going with God, it's it's better not to just engage. Unnecessary because people will then put fear in your heart or yeah. put then wrong information. Wrong information. Then you are asking somebody what did they ask the person. You are going in there. Is what the person has told you that you just want to go and yeah, you want to go and report it. Doesn't work like that. Yeah. Just be calm. Stay. Yeah. Don't stress. That's cool. cool temper. Relax. Yeah, relax. Okay. 
So um, that that's the I experienced when she went to the Nigerian I mean, embassy. Mary, sorry. Ah, no, morning, give us everything. <laughs> I think I had some document that had not printed. Oh. Okay. Then I You're went right. to print. Then they cut my head. Mm -hmm. Very expensive. <laughs> very expensive. They cut your head off in the Printing at the embassy is very expensive. Please so make sure you expensive. have all your documents printed before you get to the Before you get to the charge. It's very expensive. I can't remember. Maybe three hundred. But I know that it should be ridiculous. I think it was three hundred naira per page. Meanwhile, you know me. I think when I registered my SIM in Nigeria, I had the same uh, issue that I wanted to print something and they were charging some ridiculous amount. Mm -hmm. Guess why? They said because they have to put on gen. Uh -huh. I'm like, how much is the, is the is fuel, the first of all, that you are charging this ridiculous amount for just two printing? It's so just yeah. Nigeria for you, really. It's just best to be prepared. And, and also, then your passport. I think he, during his time, he, he went to which embassy? Is it Abu Dhabi or Oru that he used? <laughs> I put like that as well. Yeah. <laughs> Where are the For your passport photograph. Ah, okay. That's the white background. White so background. during my own visa application, I used one guy, one a super guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> but he gave me a blue background. <laughs> <laughs> but to him, it was perfect. It was perfect. I mean, it looked good, right? It looked good. And, and the probably, the probably, the probably the background said, I identify as white color. <laughs> as at that time. So, you get the G's. So, when I got to the embassy, they rejected it immediately. Like, I'm no. not so, I got out. I got one of these passports. For <laughs> so bad, <laughs> over 2000. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. How well, many then, passports? How many <laughs> copies? This application fee is eighty euros, mm -hmm. but I think generally if we're going to check the post from, like if you are sending the document to Poland, for instance, now um, to do like an express delivery of some of the document, depending on how you want to make the arrangement, it should cost you like less than three hundred. Less than three hundred for like express delivery yes, of DHL yes. document yes. from the, from Poland to Nigeria and it will be delivered yeah, it's about in, in less than 48 hours mm. the person will get it in Nigeria yeah. so let's say like you have like 300 slotty uh, budget for for sending of your document. Yeah. So when it gets to Nigeria, I try to remember to send everything at once, even each time. Yeah, it's mm, yeah, each time three hundred dollars mm. because I sent mine twice. No, so which was like different. So <laughs> sorry, it's, bro. <laughs> so it's better you send it once. So let's say three hundred dollars for for sending from Poland to Nigeria. Yeah. When it gets to Nigeria and your spouse gets it, uh, the authentication in Ministry of Foreign Affairs should if you do it yourself. It should cost you less than twenty thousand. Of course, it should cost you way way less than twenty thousand. Less, 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 less than less than ten thousand. It's one thousand something. something per document. But if you have like a photocopy, I think they charge you per each copy. Per yeah. copy. Yeah. Per authentication. Yeah. Authentication from what I remember, they charge per document. Yeah, yes. per document. So yeah. if you have so the original, the one K per document or one thousand something per. So, yeah. Yeah. so multiply it by the number of. So if that if you are doing it yourself, yourself. Uh, but if if not, that would be a different arrangement. Yes. Mm -hmm. different so the person. Who okay. charge you whatever they want to yeah, charge because you. you don't want to do this. If you don't stay in Abuja, you need to find money in the cost of transport. Mm -hmm. Yes, so, so, and accommodation. Yeah, and accommodation as well. So okay. it's advisable, and it's advisable you do uh, the authentication of the marriage certificate and then the legalization of the marriage certificate. It's not, it's not advisable, it's mandatory. <laughs> no, like, mandatory. don't do it this, the, the same period you want to go for the visa application. Yeah, exactly. Do it it's before. advisable. Legalize before. 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 Don't yeah. wait like okay. They give me appointments uh, on the f on maybe next like, week for example. Next week. I want okay. to do this week. And, and yeah, it's. It, I mean, it's not exactly advice. It's my work, but it's not advice. Just, it it just get the document with you at hand. That's why you're watching this video because now you yeah. know that you should start. For with any process that I talk about in this channel, the most important thing is for you to gather your document first. Yeah. So once you gather your document first, you are less flustered. You are less stressed when yeah. they ask you to present your document because you are sure that you have everything. Unlike when they say, Where's your passport? You're looking, you don't know where passport is. Where is your this? You don't have even then they would be like, This one is not ready for this. Yeah. It's not ready for this. So, um, authentication should cost you less than 10,000 in Ministry mm -hmm. of Foreign Affairs. If you do it yourself. If you do it yourself. If you don't do it yourself, it costs you more. It costs you more. So, if you have the budget for that thing, by all means, go yeah. ahead. And, um, so after authentication in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you get a date in the Embassy for Legal Services. 
Sure. So getting the dates in the embassy on the website is free. You don't mm -hmm. have to pay for that on the mm -hmm. website. Yes. And then when you get a date, you go to the embassy with your original marriage certificate. The original certificate. And a copy as well? Uh, yeah, and a copy as well, depending on... Yeah, because... What I advise is that was, with every original, go with the, go go with the, the copy. copy. Because yeah. then we keep the copy and you will keep your originals. That's how it works. Just so if, if you don't have a copy, yeah. so then just, they might have to keep it. Just, uh, just, it, it just legalized like the original copy that has already been authenticated, authenticated in software yes. affairs. It has to be in that order. Like you authenticate first before you, before you get it. Oh yes. So when you when you do the when you get the date, then you pay thirty euros for the legalization at so, the embassy. At the, the embassy. embassy. So uh, in, in 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 a case where you have a future plan, this is just by deciding. If you have a future plan of your spouse coming to Poland to study. Uh, as your own intention, like on the this is your personal resolution. yeah a resolution. This is not part of the process. process. You can now like legalize other documents, other documents that would allow your your spouse to, to get study. academic study documents. Academic document. That's you can just do everything at once, just so that you can do it at once. And it will be instead of thirty euros per document. Yeah, it will be thirty euros per document. But if it's only the my certificates, that's just going to cost you thirty, 30 euros. euros. So after that is done, then you, and you get your leg, uh, the original certificate back after it has been legalized. It should be less than a week now. Uh, yeah, hopefully, it's still the same. Okay. Uh, then you go back to the website and start looking for dates for visa application. Yeah, so it's going to be the category of Type C. Type C. It's eighty euros for the visa application, and it has to be in cash. Mm -hmm. And it has to be a neat notes. They will collect ramble those things oh, notes from you. So eight euros in cash. Uh, after you've submitted your application, you're gonna wait for uh, fourteen working days. Oh. Mm. Give and take like two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. yeah, two weeks. So basically, yeah, it's two. For weeks. your decision, your visa decision. For your visa and then, decision to, yeah. to, to to get out. So it's still two yeah, weeks. Call, mine was also two weeks, like. Yes, I years ago. No, 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 no. I changed it. I did it for visitation. I mean, it's everything. No, everything now. Yeah, it came back to two weeks. I think it's two weeks. Yeah, so oh, you wait, yeah. wait up to two weeks. So it, depending if you are still in Abuja within that two weeks, you can get it yourself. If you are not, you can write letter of authorization. So essentially, that's like give and take. That's only cost mm -hmm. to apply for the visitation. Yeah, visit. and that's pretty much how to bring your spouse to uh, Poland. So what about your? The process you talked about the TRC. Yeah, so uh, the TRC process for your spouse is this, it's TRC it's like, is residence permit. It's a temporary residency card. Uh, it's a temporary residence card for your spouse. So you can also do that uh, for your spouse as well. And you can either do it is advisable you do it after your spouse gets into Poland. So the process is the process basically entails like when he or she is in Poland. Excuse me. So, Bless you. Oh boy. <laughs> Bless you. Yeah. So when he or she gets to Poland, right? Mm -hmm. Uh it's actually like the same like majority of the documents you submitted for visa you also, also need it for, for the temporary residence permit. Actually. So you'll be using uh your permanent work contract, you'll be using your uh your, your accommodation. Visa rules. you'll be using your accommodation, accommodation. very important. So almost all these documents is just repetition. So once you have yeah. it, your charge will be easy. Because but it's the you, you actually use a lawyer for your child's application for your yes. spouse because they know better, yes. they know more, they will be able to guide, guide you they know your situation. And there yes. are some documents that it will be very easy for them to help you get, yes. than you get it yes. yourself. So, yeah, so, um, just so that uh, just to summarize this whole like getting a lawyer, so in the beginning, because they were here in Poland. I think first you called the immigration service, right? That was the first thing you do. Yeah, yeah. So, so the first on thing was your city. Just yeah, depending on your city, own. because again, we are talking about Krakow, Poland. We are based in Krakow, Poland. Yeah. The there might be some slight changes, especially in the terms of the financial expectation mm -hmm. of your earning, like mm -hmm. your spouse that is living in Poland. Mm -hmm. It might be slightly different depending on, on the city. city, because for example, Warsaw, which is the capital, is more expensive than uh, Poland, for example, or. Opole or Katowice, like also will be much more expensive than those cities because mm -hmm. it's the capital. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to do is to actually call the immigration service here just to be sure. And then 
the next thing for you to do after calling the immigration service is to, you can then consult a lawyer yeah yeah you can then get a lawyer and if you are wondering what is the lawyer fee it depends on the service that they're offering you but it's could range from 350 slotty to about a thousand five hundred uh slots yeah. yeah. which i think it's an affordable it's price affordable. for this uh process because i feel like you if you're going through this process also you will be mentally prepared that you are going to spend money yeah so probably start saving towards it by using this video all the cost ana analysis that we've made especially if your spouse in nigeria is maybe not working or earning but if they're working and earning then they can do the fee the nigerian party themselves and you, you just do the Poland uh, payment. So yeah, then you consult with the lawyer. The next step is to get your documents, like you said, ready. The next after the documents, you fill this form. After filling the form, you find the date. After finding the date, you go for your appointment. After getting your appointment, then you just wait for the decision. Mm -hmm. That's basically uh, all there is. It's not much. It's not a uh, mathematics. Mm -hmm. It's not for that math. It's a very simple, <laughs> straightforward process. So there are two processes. You can get your um, spouses. Um, TRC while they are in Nigeria, or, or you can get it after they arrive in Poland. The easier one is to just get it after they've arrived in mm -hmm. Poland rather than them just waiting in Nigeria because whether or not you apply before they come, they still need to apply for the of visa course, because they need to leave. they need to leave Nigeria. Mm -hmm. You cannot use TRC to come here. Do you understand? Like they need to come and collect the TRC themselves physically. Unfortunately, you cannot collect it on your oh, yeah, and yeah. send it to them. So they have to get it legally to get the TRC first. And once they get the TRC, they can then apply for any visa really. They don't have to apply for family visiting. They can do uh, tourist holiday. But the easier process that we think, and I think some people have also replicated this process, is that you apply for this family visiting visa from Nigeria, mm -hmm. and then you come to Poland to apply for your TRC, and then you can do whatever that you want to do. Guys, is there any other thing that you guys uh, want to add? Uh, I think that's it pretty much. Uh, so just as my my friends have said, the summary is pretty straightforward. Are you guys enjoying now that you are, <laughs> now that you have been you have been uh, what's it called reunited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, you are jealous. Femi, I mean, Femi is jealous. His wife uh, will soon be here, <laughs> and uh, their wedding. I think you guys are going to have a big wedding very soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So after the whole ceremony, yes, they yeah. have a <laughs> celebration. But they're already married. It's just that they want yeah. to have a proper celebration that they deserve of course yeah, yeah. Mm. so and this was i'm just looking at Sa'i oh, like, oh. he's waiting his name <laughs> yeah it's so he's getting very sad that's super attention in it like i said they are like the closest look at him look at him so, <laughs> Femi, don't worry don't we worry. are counting down days yeah, no, 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 no. anyway I'm, I'm yes he's hanging in there <laughs> thank you so much guys how are you feeling are you okay Chilling. Yeah. Chilling. So I really appreciate you making this video with me. Um, guys, give them a thank you in the comment section for me. They took out their time. They are busy people on weekends. They are supposed to be resting their house and they are here filming with me. I really appreciate you. So thank you so much. I'll catch you guys on my next video. I wish you a lovely day wherever you're watching me from. It's still your girl. That's my hour away. And I am signing out. Say bye, everybody. Bye. bye. bye.